Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go over um, I want to go over the system response with respect to altering the set point, right? So that's that's a key factor here. So well, again, what we normally have is we have distance that you want to cover, right? Then there's actually the optimal velocity that you're looking for, and then there's the actual acceleration to get to that specific velocity. Right, and playing with those uh, figures can actually have then an effect on how your system is set up to actually respond, right? So uh, typically in a, in a lot of industrial applications you, you have a system that simply wants, uh, you know, it's almost like you have a step input, you know, and uh, you basically then you just have a, a response on that, right, and, and that's it i.e. please give me the, the following target velocity right and, and that's it and then you'll have I uh, please uh, give me the step input will last for a certain period of time right and, and that's it or give me that give me the, uh, the, the desired output until I say otherwise right um, so what I want to do is I want to play around continually with the values what I did in the other videos was I basically had a, an ideal velocity of 1000 and then we have the acceleration of, of 100. Now you can play around with these, right? Uh, which I did at the end of the previous video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a graph where I'm only moving, say, uh, one, yeah, I have 100 RPM and then I have, say, uh, acceleration. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, and I'll just leave this distance figure exactly the same. And I'm going to take a look at the graph that, that we get from that. I mean, I can even see with this thing here, and I'm not going to bother, right? It's it's very easy to adjust. Oh, for God's sake, I'm after jumping onto it. I'll do it again. Right, stop this guy immediately, right? So, uh, any vibration here, and it's because I'm after stopping it. But anyway, the position is so easy to hold. It's absolutely, you know, it's very, very, very easy to hold that position, and then it's very easy to get up. To that uh, specific uh, point in itself, the actual set point, and hold its target velocity. There's no no issues with that, but things change dramatically when, say, you want to hit, say, 2,000 RPM, and you only allow this acceleration within this given distance. Right now, that looks great, right? But it actually isn't, because if we go up here, we see that our velocity has only hit 1,000. Uh, 1825 right and we just were ramping up very slowly and then we ramped down then right so acceleration was was all over the place then we have that rest interval that goes in between right so I uh, you have to start playing around with the actual acceleration that you were given as a command that there's a big difference you you don't just have like say you don't just play around with your proportional value right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in say 250 here and see how I get on So here we were actually able to achieve 2000 and that's excellent and then we actually do have a decent settling time but acceleration is kind of what it's been told, what the drive has been told to do. Proportional just is just the amplifier, what's available to use and that's it. Okay so what I want to do now is I want to literally just try and break it right, I want to hit something that's unachievable right. And then we're going to start playing around with the limits of our system and what it can do. We actually got an error out there. Okay, so I can see that if I try to accelerate there, I actually drew uh, more than the actual power supply could actually give me. Because I can see it right here in the background with this little light in terms of that's our power supply here. And again, we got a, we got a, a red light coming up over here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the acceleration, maybe 200. I was able to do it there. Let me look at the graph that we get out. I almost reached, but I didn't quite reach. I uh, no, she's well away, 500 RPM away. 
So we're starting to play around with the limits of of what we set originally um, with our uh, with our with our current loop, and then we'd have to play around with that in order to give our, our motor more supply because the motor itself will cut. It, uh, you know, if it feels that you're going to give over current or over voltage to this motor. So that's basically me just trying to uh, play around with the. Um, well, you can see that there's more. There's more going on than just simply uh, tuning the response. There's actually the parameters that you give, where your uh, where your system response that you've given is just not suitable. So you, you in any system you're going to have, well not in any system, in many systems you have a dynamic input and you have dynamic expectations. Robotics are, are very very much like that. So it would be important that if you had say a robot reiterating that you go through all the individual uh, movements and you try to find a system response that's set up that will suit all of the different commands and the different velocities and accelerations that are actually needed.